this program is your golden ticket to getting your permanent residence. Guys, one thing that we said throughout this video was that, you know, this is one of the great ways for you to land your dream of coming to Canada. Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. We've had a lot of new subscribers join us lately and we want to thank you so much for supporting us as always. In today's video, we're going to take a look at one of the immigration pathways that does not require IELTS, CR score, French exam, education qualification, work experience, so on and so forth. Like, you know, some that we might have seen in some of our previous videos. And that is the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program. Guys, this is an extension of the New Brunswick Provincial Nominee Program. So if you have not checked that video out, please do so right here. So in this video, we are going to walk you through what the program is, who the various employers are that are part of this program, what, can, what are some of the greatest benefits of this program, and finally, how can you live your dream of coming to Canada? As always, a subscription and like would mean the world to us. Now let's get going. Guys, the New Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program is a joint venture between the Government of Canada and the Government of New Brunswick. So, uh, you know, the government actually realized the success of the Provincial Nominee Program and realized that there was an efficient way of bringing skilled worker into the province. And that is how they came up with this program. So guys, usually when, you know, somebody comes to Canada as a permanent resident, there's so many things they need to do in terms of finding an accommodation, connecting with people, networking, uh, you know, finding a job, giving interviews, so on and so forth. Like, you know, they might even have to work part time before they could land in their, uh, you know, dream job. But through this program, all you have to do is just find a job with one of the six employers tied to this program and everything else will be taken care of by them. By everything else, I mean right from accommodation to your family settling down in the province, everything will be taken care of by your employer who's employing you. And isn't that an amazing way for someone to come to Canada? I bet that sure is for us. So guys, this is currently a pilot program and it is going to be in place for the next five years. So depending on how the program goes and the success of it, they may decide to extend it in the future. Now you might be wondering like, you know, how can I apply for this program? As Priya mentioned, it's quite simple guys. All you have to do is to reach out to one of these six companies, either through LinkedIn, email, contact HR straight up, or go to you know, career fair that one of these companies host. And all you have to do is to find a job with these companies. Now, who are these six employers? Let me let you know about that. The first one is Cook Aquaculture. There is JD Irving Limited, Imperial Manufacturing Limited, Group Savoy Limited, Group Wesco, and the final one is McCain Foods. So guys, like you know, these are the six companies. And as I said before, you need to be able to find a job with these companies. So guys, these are some pretty big companies in the province of New Brunswick. And so like, you know, there are ample opportunities for you to be able to find a job with them. Now let us look at what some of these companies do and what are the different types of jobs that may be available. So for example, like Cook Aquaculture is a seafood leader and their mission is to become one of the largest seafood giants in the world. Uh, if you look at like McCain Foods, McCain is a favorite of mine and prayer because they manufacture like frozen uh, French fries and hash browns, which we use on a daily basis in our cooking. Uh, the other one is JD Irving and they specialize in a bunch of activities like, you know, agriculture, forest products, etc. So as you can see from here, these are diversity in terms of, you know, what the company does. And you might be wondering, you know, like, should I have like a chef experience or a fishing experience to be able to get into these companies? And our experience says that that is not the case. If you look into some of their websites and the jobs that they have available, they have like, you know, marketing, finance, tech, uh, technology, all different types of job available with them. So you're not limited in terms of what you can apply for. So definitely something you can look into and start applying for if you're deciding to move to Canada. Now let's see what are some of the benefits of applying through this program. So the first one is settlement plan. So the employer will be giving you a thorough settlement plan for you and your family, right from housing to transportation. So everything will be arranged by them. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you know, at your time in Canada, you can always reach out to them and they'll be able to help you. And the second one is job security. Now guys, imagine you're moving to a new country and you know, if you're, if you're like fired from your job, how daunting would that be for you? So uh, there's, there's nothing for you to worry about, uh, you know, your job security when you're coming through this program because the government has ensured that the employer is providing you with a long-term, uh, you know, job offer and that they cannot fire you for some random reason. Now the next one is work permit. So guys, you don't have to worry about your work permit as that will be taken care of by your employer. So you can bring your family uh, to Canada on open work permit or a visitor visa. So this is a great way for you to settle down in Canada uh, along with your family. 
uh, let's move on to the next one which is on the job uh, skills so guys uh, the uh, employer will provide you training or uh, you know for uh, your skill set and uh, that will help you perform your job to the best of your ability so there's nothing that you need to go outside and you know you have to take a special training or skill because everything will be provided uh, by the employer for you so the next one is your english training guys so a lot of people out there really struggle with you know getting a high ielts score or a high french score and so one of the great things that we talk about in this program is that you don't need to have either to apply so the employer is actually like you know tasked with uh, training you for up to 200 hours if you decide to do let's say an english training or a french training so that you can perform your job to the best of your ability so what a great way for you to learn english or french at the expense of the employer and the final one is education so guys if you decide to pursue a canadian secondary education equivalency the company will help support you through the same the, all the benefits that we've listed here it's quite a lot of them this is one of the only programs that can offer all these types of benefits guys i want to highly stress on something this program is your golden ticket to getting your permanent residence for example if you work with a canadian employer or you know with any of these employers for about a year then you can directly apply for your permanent residence either through cec or through your pnp program now if you want to know how this cec program works make sure to check our video right here and we have already spoken about the pnp before so just rewind a bit back and you will find the link right there for the program so what are you guys waiting for get now and apply so guys let's look at how you can apply for a job through one of these six employers uh, let us look at uh, cook aquaculture let's just type cook aquaculture on google search bar uh, let's so as you can see here there is the careers page so let's click on the careers link uh, so we are obviously looking at opportunities in Atlantic Canada. So let's look at uh, opportunities in Atlantic Canada. Now, as you can see here, there are lots of positions that are open here. Um, so let's just take a look at one of these positions. Let's say like the business systems analyst here. So as you can see here, this is the role and like, you know, what are the responsibilities? What are they expecting from a candidate? So on and so forth. So you will find all the information down here. So you will have to make sure that, you know, you uh, prepare a resume and a cover letter that talks to the role, that talks to your experience and how, what you bring will be able to uh, fulfill the needs of this role. If you have any questions and if you would like to edit your resume and cover letter, uh, you can reach out to me through my company. My company is WorkSpark Consulting. We do have a uh, link in the uh, bio page. Uh, I'll also put make sure to put the uh, link in the description box below and we will be able to help you tailor your resume and cover letter according to the job position. So that's how you apply for the job, guys. Now that we've come to the end of the video, we hope that we've given you all the information that you need in order to apply for this program and be eligible to land your opportunity in Canada. So guys, always remember that, you know, you have to take the first step and nothing is going to be offered to you on a silver platter. Guys, one thing that we said throughout this video was that, you know, this is one of the great ways for you to land your dream of coming to Canada. If it's so easy for you know us to say this, imagine the number of people that will be applying for this program. Yes, a lot of them. And so you have to make sure that you stand out from this crowd when you're applying for this program. So some of the ways in which you can do that is reach out to these companies either through LinkedIn. If you find an email to one of the HR folks, like you can reach out through there. If you have any mutual connections that can you know connect you with one of the employers through LinkedIn or the social media websites, that's also a great opportunity. But the one thing we do want to stress is that you need to find a way to stand out so that you can come and uh, land your dream of coming to Canada. If you guys have any questions or concerns, make sure to mention in the comment section below and we'll try our best to answer them for you. Make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button so that you're notified of such videos in the future. Take care and we'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.